we know what we have to do to get down. Yeah, I guess we don't have a choice. Help us! Please help us! We're stuck up on the roof and we can't get down! Ross. I was thinking we'd just go down the fire escape. I know, I wasn't finished. Transplant? It's ridiculous. Oh, well, I think it's ridiculous that you haven't had sex in three and a half months. <laughs> it's winter. There are fewer people on the street. <laughs> Two, three, four. She isn't home. So it would just be me alone? Well, Ben would be there. No. Huh. Um, What's the matter? Well, you know, it's just, uh, I've never done that before. Me and him alone. Wait, she's not an ex-con. Okay, okay. That's great. Yeah. That is great. What did we just finish talking about, oh. Ben? What did we just finish talking about, Ben? That's it. Come here. You know you are in big trouble, young man. No, wait. I know. Ben, come here. I am not kidding. No, you guys I, I'm oh, serious. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, my God. I wish I didn't have to go. Believe me. Unfortunately, I have to. Oh, um, by the way, what's the name of the girl you're dating? Kristen Lang. Bye. <laughs> oh, just, uh, just tell them there was a mix-up with the invitations. Or, no, no, no. Blame it on the post office. They hate the post office and the Irish. <laughs> but I don't think you could blame it on them, so. Hello? Yeah, hi, uh, Mrs. Triviani? Hi, this is Monica Geller. Yeah, I'm, I'm just calling to say that Chandler and I uh, really hope that you can make it to the wedding. Yeah, apparently a bunch of the invitations that we sent uh, weren't delivered. Um, I guess there was some screw-up at the damn post office. <laughs> <laughs> uh, tell me about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the U.S. post office? No, more like U.S. lost office. <laughs> what are they, Irish? <laughs> Ross is Batman. <laughs> Well, he did manage to keep his identity secret for a long time. Huh? An invitation to the At First Sight premiere? Oh, my God. Val Kilmer didn't wear this in Batman. He wore it to the premiere of some tutti-frutti love story where he played a blind guy. <laughs> Let me see that. Oh, man. The only superpower you have is a slightly heightened sense of smell. <laughs> You're for the ceremony. Huh? I wear it like this when I marry you guys, and then this is for party time. <laughs> I'm so slow, he could never hurt it. It's a car, Monica, not a rocket ship. Whatever, Ross, just replace the bulbs and the brake lights after you're done. If you want to go for a ride in the Porsche, I'll be glad to take you for a quick spin around the block. Yeah, you got a couple hours? <laughs> what am I going to say to you? I'm, I'm not saying as your friend. Okay, I'm, I'm saying it as Monica's older brother. But you're still my friend. Not for the next few minutes. During this time, are you, are you still my best man? Nope. Do I still call you Ross? Okay. <laughs> you guys are getting married tomorrow, and, and I couldn't be more thrilled for both of you. But as Monica's older brother, I, I have to tell you this. If you ever hurt my little sister, if you ever cause her any unhappiness of any kind, I will hunt you down and kick your ass. <laughs> what? 
I'm, I'm, I'm serious. <laughs> hey, dude, <clears throat> stop it, okay? <clears throat> I'm, I'm not kidding here. Hey, I hear what you're saying, okay? And thanks for the warning. <laughs> no problem. So are we friends again? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> you won't believe what Monica's older brother just said to me. <laughs> nice shades. Thanks. Yeah, I figure if I wear these in my scenes, at least I won't get spit in my eyes. You know? <laughs> and if I remember correctly, Ray-Ban was the official sponsor of World War I. <laughs> Great. 